Hours of Work and Remuneration Republic Act No. 4670 June 18, 1966 The Magna Carta for Public School Teachers Please and subscribe this channel and please click the bell icon to be updated with the latest videos. And please do comment and give suggestions for new videos. Do watch the video from start to finish. Section 13. Teaching Hours Any teacher engaged in actual classroom instruction shall not be required to render more than six hours of actual classroom teaching a day which shall be so scheduled as to give him time for the preparation and correction of exercises and other work incidental to his normal teaching duties, provided, however, that where the exigencies of the service so require. Any teacher may be required to render more than six hours, but not exceeding eight hours of actual classroom teaching a day upon. Payment of additional compensation at the same rate as his regular remuneration plus at least 25% of his basic pay. Section 14. Additional Compensation Notwithstanding any provision of existing law to the contrary, co-curricula and out-of-school activities and any other activities outside of what is defined as normal duties of any teacher shall be paid an additional compensation of at least 25% of his regular remuneration after the teacher has completed at least 6 hours of actual classroom teaching a day. In the case of other teachers or school officials not engaged in actual classroom instruction, any work performed in excess of 8 hours a day shall be paid an additional compensation of at least 25% of their regular remuneration. The agencies utilizing the services of teachers shall pay the additional compensation required under this section. Education authorities shall refuse to allow the rendition of services of teachers for other government agencies without the assurance that the teachers shall be paid the remuneration provided for under this section. Section 15. Criteria for Salaries Teachers' salaries shall correspond to the following criteria. Letter A. They shall compare favorably with those paid in other occupations requiring equivalent or similar qualifications training and abilities letter b they shall be such as to ensure teachers a reasonable standard of life for themselves and their families and section 15 criteria for salaries teachers salaries shall correspond to the following criteria letter c they shall be properly graded so as to recognize the fact that certain positions require higher qualifications and greater responsibility than others provided however that the general salary scale shall be such that the relation between the lowest and highest salaries paid in the profession will be of reasonable order. Narrowing of the salary scale shall be achieved by raising the lower end of the salary scales relative to the upper end. Section 16. Salary Scale Salary scales of teachers shall provide for a gradual progression from a minimum to a maximum salary by means of regular increments granted automatically after three years, provided that the efficiency rating of the teacher concerned is at least satisfactory. The progression from the minimum to the maximum of the salary scale shall not extend over a period of 10 years. Section 17. Equality in Salary Scales. The salary scales of teachers whose salaries are appropriated by a city, municipal, municipal district, or provincial government shall not be less than those provided for teachers of the national government. Section 18. Cost of Living Allowance. Teachers' salaries shall, at the very least, keep pace with the rise in the cost of living by the payment of a cost of living allowance, which shall automatically follow changes in a cost of living index. The Secretary of Education shall, in consultation with the proper government entities, recommend to Congress, at least annually, the appropriation of the necessary funds for the cost of living allowances of teachers employed by the national government. The determination of the cost of living allowances by the Secretary of Education shall, upon approval of the President of the Philippines, be binding on the city, municipal or provincial government, for the purposes of calculating the cost of living allowances of teachers under its employ. Section 19. Special Hardship Allowances. In areas in which teachers are exposed to hardship such as difficulty in commuting to the place of work or other hazards peculiar to the place of employment, as determined by the Secretary of Education, 
they shall be compensated special hardship allowances equivalent to at least 25% of their monthly salary. Section 20. Salaries to be paid in legal tender. Salaries of teachers shall be paid in legal tender of the Philippines or its equivalent in checks or treasury warrants. Provided, however, that such checks or treasury warrants shall be cashable in any national, provincial, city or municipal treasurer's office or any banking institutions operating under the laws of the Republic of the Philippines. Section 21. Deductions prohibited. No person shall make any deduction whatsoever from the salaries of teachers except under specific authority of law authorizing such deductions, provided, however, that upon written authority executed by the teacher concerned, number one, lawful dues and fees owing to the Philippine Public School Teachers Association, and number two, premiums properly due on insurance policies shall be considered deductible. If you reach this far, Thank you very much and please do comment on the video and give us suggestion for new content or review about teacher related topics.